Peter and Alex are making beer, Victorian style. The first job is to heat malted barley in water. Oh, smells delicious, doesn't it? Yeah, that smells fantastic. It's a bit like Albertine, isn't it? Yeah. Milk drink, hot milk drink. Hot milk drink. Hot, hot, hot. I'm getting tipsy, just making it. We need to keep that temperature at that 150 degrees. We need to do that for two hours. <laughs> the temperature is critical because if, if it's too much, it kills the enzymes. If it's too little, uh, the enzymes won't work. But 150 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, the enzymes will release sugars from the barley into the water to create the sugar water, which is the wort. Basically, this sugar is what the yeast feeds on, and that reaction creates the alcohol. Back in the Victorian period, you were very much responsible for providing not only for the, the, the sort of financial needs of your, your labourers, but also for their refreshments as well. And if you brewed a good beer, there's a very good chance that you get all the best labourers. That smells absolutely lovely. It does. And it's holding its temperature well, or at least it has done now, and it's been pushing three hours. Yeah, that should be fine. Well, a big problem now is, is straining it into the cauldron. OK. Because you normally have a hole in the bottom and stuff it with straw. Right. But obviously our, our wooden vessel leaked, so we couldn't use that. I found this. <laughs> <laughs> is that what I think it is? Top of Ruth's chamber pot. <laughs> is it? I hope you've given it a thorough cleaning. <laughs> Let's go for it. Go for this. <laughs> Just don't tell anyone. <laughs> If that has been used in anger, I think you might want to give it a, a, a slightly more thorough rinse. <laughs> Let's put, I'll pop it in the cauldron. Really? Sterilisation begins. Nobody will ever know. I suppose as Victorians, if we, if we got good at brewing beer, we could invest in the proper kit. <laughs> Back at the cottage, the malted barley is filtered from the water, drop by drop. This is tedious. That is a bit, isn't it? But we can always just tip it through the... Can you say the pillowcase? Genius idea. Let's innovate. I'll nip this off Ruth's bed. And pour it in there. Necessity is the mother of all invention. That's good, I think. Leave that at that. Hmm. The case seems to be waterproof. <laughs> <laughs> I think, put the hops in, in here. We've still got to drain it though, haven't we? <laughs> We've still got to drain the water out at some point. <laughs> I think at this rate we're going to be lucky if we've got any beer for harvest. <laughs> Don't say that. Eventually, the barley's filtered out. Next, it's time to flavour the beer. It's going to give it the bitterness and also the hoppy taste. Yep. But we're going for the bittersweet, aren't we? We are. Summer beer and all that. Put in some honey. Brilliant. Some honey. Yep. Well, we've got so much of it at the moment. Honey's the only ingredient in the world that doesn't go off in its raw form. This is our yeast. So I'm just going to put this into the beer and I'll just stir the yeast into the wort. And the wort is sugar water and the yeast feeds off of that sugar. And the result of that is alcohol. So this is it. This is now beer. It is in the lap of the gods. There's nothing more we can do for this. Hey piggies, this is the barley from our brew and one of the things Victorian farmers would have done with it is feed it to the pigs because pigs pretty much eat anything and look at them, they are really really tucking in, I mean malted barley it's like Maltesers, it's like Ovaltine, it's, it's a malt extract, it's lovely and they're absolutely scoffing it. 